Hi, I'm Charles Mulame, and this is the best of Liji. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Charles Mulame, and today I'm going to be talking about the three simple lifestyle changes you can make today. One of which is the ability to, to wake up early. Now, a lot of people complain about not having enough time of the day to be more productive, but I could tell you as simple as just waking up early, you can have more time to be more productive. Let's give an example of someone that wakes up 9 a.m. every day and says he doesn't have enough time to be more productive. I could tell you as simple as just, you know, setting your alarm clock to wake up by 6 o'clock. You find out that you tend to be more productive as compared to when you're waking up by 9 a.m., meaning that you have three extra hours to be able to, you know, do more productive things, activities throughout the day. And secondly, is the ability to drink water. Now, a lot of people don't know the importance of water. One of which is the ability to help your body metabolism work function faster and better, and also the ability to keep hydrated throughout the day. So try and drink a lot of water. And thirdly, is the ability to be able to exercise. Now, the watch word for exercise is consistency. Do something you know that you can do continuously every day without stopping. You know, something as simple as maybe ten push-ups or maybe skipping. As much as even running a mile or so, you know, depend on what you feel is comfortable for you. But let it be something you do consistently. Those are the three simple lifestyle changes that you can do today to make your day better. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Till next time. Cheers. Hi, I'm Charles Mulame. And today I'm going to be talking about five EDCs everyone needs in 2021. By EDC, I mean everyday carry by 20, um, for 2021. Now, the first one on the list is hand sanitizer. Now, due to the fact that we are having a COVID-19 as a pandemic that is um, affecting the global economy, having your hand sanitizer is very important to have in your pocket or your bag, depending on how you are going out in the day, because you are not going to always be disposed to be able to wash your hand at every destination you get to. So having hand sanitizer in your bag or your wallet, sorry, in your bag, helps you to be able to avoid um, unnecessary germs sticking to your hands while you are moving from one destination to another. Then the next one you need to have is your wallet. A wallet is used to keep your money, it's used to keep your debit cards, it's also used to keep a um, passport or valuable items, depending on how um, bulky the nature of these items are. It helps you to have um, an accurate um, um, arrangement of these things you need in your um, pocket. Then the next one we have is a handkerchief. Now what this handkerchief is used to do is that it used to wipe out sweat, wipe up sweat from your face right um once you have been able to like for instance you have washed your hands for instance now or you wash your face is your handkerchief used to wipe the excess water that is on your face you know keeping it dry and um more presentable as compared to if the sweat was just on your face you look as if probably you are kind of um, tense so having a handkerchief in your pocket helps you to take away excess um water from your face which also it comes out as sweat from your skin and then the next one is a pen now depending on what your preference is for pen you could have one in your bag in case you need to probably sign a check you need to probably write down your phone number for someone you need to quickly take down notes now this pen is very important because you never can tell when you need to write something down at any point of your daily uh, movement and last and final one is the nose mask what this nose mask does is that like it protects those that have COVID-19 from infecting those that do not have and also helps that those that do not have COVID-19 so that, that prevents them from being infected from um, the COVID. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Till we meet next time. Cheers. Hi, my name is Charles Mulame, and today I'm going to be talking about the three reasons for holding money. One, we have the transactionary reason. Secondly, we have the precautionary reason. And thirdly, we have the speculative reason for holding money. What is the transactional reason of holding money? The transactional reason of holding money is when monies are held for our day-to-day expenses. Let's say, for instance, you're going out, you need to buy food for your car, or probably you want to buy food stops on your way back from work. Those fall under the transactional reasons. Secondly, we have the um, precautionary reason. These are seen as unforeseen circumstances. Let's say, for instance, now, um, let's say you um here get a phone call now that maybe a family member is sick and they are raising funds for the person to go to the hospital now you see that that didn't fall under your budget right so those fall under unforeseen um, circumstances when you did not plan for them but they happen to now come up and thirdly we have what we call the um, speculative reason which is seen as unforeseen opportunities let's say for instance now you want to um, probably you hear somebody is in dire need of money and has a plot of land to sell and that land you know that was bought for a millionaire and the person is saying he wants to sell for six hundred thousand meaning that you're going to be making four hundred thousand for the sales of that for the purchase of that land so that i will see as an unforeseen opportunity um, that's all I have for now about um, the reason for holding money. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out.
See you next time. Cheers.